if you're limited on time, right? It's gonna ensure that you're hitting every muscle group two to three times a week, keeping that muscle protein synthesis high. I developed habits lately I've been trying to break And them battles in my mind, they still keep me up late So I see you sleeping on me when you should have been awake Hope you die in your sleep, I'll start a fire at your wake I'ma see this through and I don't care how long it takes Now everything changed when I decide What's going on YouTube? You're back with the Prez We're in Juniper Park today And today is day two of our first week back to training After our little hiatus I explained to you guys getting back to my training For my first week back The goal was to complete two to three full body workouts throughout the whole first week back. So today is going to be workout number two. The whole full body workout from Monday was posted on my channel. I hope you guys watched that and enjoyed that routine. So again, full body means we're training every muscle group today. And I told you guys there's many benefits of full body training. One being the fact that it allows you to get so much volume in throughout the week, right? You're tapping into each muscle group minimum two times, up to three times a week if you do three full body workouts spread throughout seven days a week, right? That means three days to train your chest, three days to train your back, three days to train your shoulders, three days to train your legs. A lot of volume could accumulate over time, more than you would be able to put in in one given workout. And now listen guys, I'm in the park now and it's two o'clock and I'm just starting the second half of this full body workout. If you guys watch my Instagram story, I posted about this earlier in the day. So I started this full body workout early this morning at 8.30 a.m and finished the first part of it within the first hour. So I trained my legs and chest at home today. I've, sp I've spoke about this many times before in the past. If you have the means, meaning you, could ha you have the time to allow you to spread your workout out throughout the entire day, as opposed to only giving yourself 60 or 90 minutes to try to fit a whole full body workout in, spreading the volume up throughout the day is gonna be an effective way to one, make each set that you're getting into way more effective due to the fact that you're not gonna be as fatigued from the prior sets in the workout that you're doing, right? So for instance, I trained legs and chest at home at 8.30 this morning. It's two o'clock, so that's four or five hours in between the workouts. My body's recovered, I was able to fuel back up, and I already trained half the body, so I only have the rest of the remaining body parts left, shoulders and back. So the, uh, so the accumulated fatigue that I would have built up by training legs first, then chest, then going to shoulders and back in one workout isn't gonna be there. So for instance, let's just say I was 90 minutes, I wanted to do the whole workout in. I started with legs, did heavy squats, then went into chest work. By the time I would've got to my shoulder exercise, an hour down the line, my shoulders would have been fried, right? I wouldn't have been able to pull out as effective sets that I could if my shoulders are fresher. Now, by giving my body four or five hours in between and allowing my body to refuel in between the two workouts, now when I'm getting into this back and shoulder training, it's like I'm fresh. It's like a whole new day of working out, right? So it's a very effective way to manage overall accumulated fatigue throughout the body. So which, and that, which in turn, that's gonna allow you to get more effective working sets in every time you're going to do a set. So this could be done splitting it out your workout two times throughout the day or even up to three times. Say you want to train two muscle groups in the morning, two in the afternoon, and two at night. You're spreading the volume out throughout the whole day, still allowing your body plenty of rest in between, fuel to recover, and every working set that you get into is going to be very effective. So, like I said, we started the routine off at home with legs and chest. Now we're finishing off here with shoulders and back. I'll see you with the first exercise. Let's go. All right, guys. Like I mentioned earlier, we started this workout off today in the home gym around 8.30 this morning. So, I told you I split up half the workout here in the home gym and I finished off in the park. So the first part of the workout, like I said, was gonna be legs and chest. So we started off the routine with barbell box squats. You're only gonna see one set here, but this was my max working weight. And we did 245 for three sets of six reps. And this is one set at 245. That's all you're gonna see of the barbell box squats. Straight from there, we went into three sets of stiff leg dumbbell deadlifts. Now listen guys, it's been about 10 days since I trained my lower body. So this is not max load or anything and I wanted to ease back into it by dealing with sufficient weight so I decided to go with the box squat method. And listen, like I said, I took off all of last week besides Monday and Monday's workout was only an upper body day so I really wanted to get a nice amount of leg volume in. So three sets of six at 245 with the box squats. And then we went to 75 pound dumbbells and we did three sets of eight stiff leg deadlifts. These are really gonna work more of the hamstrings and the glutes. 
and squats are obviously going to be a little more quad dominant but also they're also going to work the hamstrings and glutes and of course I trained calves but I didn't train calves till later on in the day I didn't even record it calves were done at the end of even after I finished my back and shoulder workout in the park I came home and then I hit calves so this full body workout like I mentioned I spread it out throughout the entire day but it did take a lot of the time throughout the day to complete the whole workout right effectively and hitting every set and every exercise very effectively all right guys like I said we did legs and chest in the home gym so right after the barbell squats and the stiff leg dumbbell deadlifts we went to incline dumbbell bench pressing work and remember guys nothing that I'm working with today is anywhere near like the max weights that it could be lifting this is just me acclimating my body back to the volume getting my body back from being again not feeling too well the prior week so we got 55 pounds for 10 then we did 65 for 8 75 for 6 again a benefit of dumbbell bench press as opposed to barbell bench press is going to allow for a deeper range of motion and it's going to allow the shoulder joint and the arms to move more freely remember when you're using a barbell you're fixed right so if you're dealing with any type of imbalances or you feel like you're weaker or stronger on one side dumbbell work is where you want to be at guys work on those imbalances they're going to expose them and it's going to be a great way to strengthen up those imbalances if you have one right and again it's going to be more optimal almost for if you're looking for that hypertrophy or that muscle building growth because again you're going to get a deeper range of motion allowing you to target more of the muscle in general I'm still waiting on moments that never came Blind faith in people who never change My heart breaks and every day I go insane Just trying to relive memories that never turn out the same It's time to move on But I'm stuck in my ways I gotta prove wrong Anyone who had something to say When I was down and out New route, I found a new way Through all the doubts Finding out who's real and who's fake Alright, so three sets Incline dumbbell bench press are done We're gonna finish off chest now With three sets of weighted dips Again, I'm going to say it, this is not the max weight that I could be working with. Just last week, I was doing 110 pounds in the park for sets of six, right? So again, just acclimating my body back to load. Here, we're doing 70 pounds, three sets of eight, keeping the brakes pretty strict at 90 seconds here. Just again, weight's not too heavy. Just trying to really work on that pump right now. And this was two exercises for every muscle group today. So we did two exercises for legs. This is the second exercise for chest told you we're going to go on a little break in between this workout and the park workout so right after this you're going to see me in the park let's get it it's more than having goals and cash and checks it's less about what hasn't happened yet but what's about to happen next that's perspective i guess many lessons regrets let the hate overshadow any love that i get because i'm addicted to the pain comfortable feeling uncomfortable because i push away it doesn't mean i lost my love for you time ticks away and every day i have too much to do no matter how much it seems like it's never enough for you I'm working, but it's hurting, and this level of uncertainty has got me feeling nervous. Wasting time writing verses, at first for myself, but I can't help to see where I stack up with everyone else. And it's a vicious circle. Fans will love you, but this business hurts you, or business love you, and the fans waiting to see who hurts you. And I'd rather fail being myself than fall apart trying to play the part of. So, after finishing off the home workout with legs and chest, I ended up training two clients, had another pre-workout or post-workout meal from that initial workout, and like I said, it is around 2 p.m. now, so just about five and a half hours after the first part of the session, and we're at the park now, and we're starting the routine off now with our back training, and here we have on 35-pound kettlebell, and we're going for three sets of eight full range of motion pull-ups, nice and controlled, really squeezing, fully locking out. And keep in mind, if you guys watched the last full body workout from Monday earlier in the week, I still worked with 35 pounds for my weighted pull-ups. But if you recall, I told you I used it as more strength-focused sets where I was pausing on the bottom, pausing two to three seconds, chin over the bar, and only hitting sets of three. Now I'm using the same 35 pounds, and like I said, the focus of today's back session is going to be more hypertrophy-based. So again, upping the reps. Keeping the intensity, meaning the load the same, but I was able to manipulate the load in the previous session to make the 35 pounds heavier and work more strength. Here I'm able to keep the 35 pounds pretty much the intensity that it should be and I'm able to hit four sets of eight full range of motion repetitions.
All right, guys, four sets of weighted pull-ups are done. That was the first exercise for our back. Like I mentioned earlier, we're hitting two exercises per muscle group today. The only muscle group that we're not specifically gonna hit two exercises for is gonna be shoulders. So we're getting into handstand press-ups now. That's gonna be our main shoulder focus exercise for the day. But remember, dips, the bench pressing with the dumbbells, all that is gonna stimulate shoulders, right? It's gonna get a lot of shoulder activation. And then the next workout of the day, which is gonna be muscle ups, is gonna again target a lot of shoulders, pulling, and again, pretty much our entire upper body. So it's gonna be our second main back exercise, which will be the muscle ups. It'll also be our second shoulder workout, and it'll give a little more stimulation to our chest, which will be almost the third exercise that's gonna target the chest. So we got four sets of handstand press ups now, and then we got muscle ups. Let's go. Now the goal of these handstand push up sets is just to hit one clean, full range of motion handstand push up. I kick up to full lockout, go through a nice, slow, controlled, eccentric, trying to break 90 degrees on the way down, really working on that range of motion, and one full lockout. So one rep for four total sets. That's the and goal. And I'm going for just one rep, as deep as possible, and I'll be resting two to three minutes now in between each one of these sets. Four sets total, trying to get every set clean, at least breaking 90 degrees. Let's go. Somebody else, that's why I'm focusing. As much as I can, it's like he's gone and then he's back and then he does it again. Knowing all good runs, they must come to an end. It's like the boy who cried wolf, this time it wasn't pretend. It's nearly over for you. And I try to warn you, told him the storm is coming. And you ignored us, your views are all distorted. According to your recordings, you think that you're more important than the shit that you report. And bitch, you got a job to do, but you a politician. You lie to people, that's why nobody listens Your illustrations never match up with the life you're living How you in the kitchen with the pasta and had no pasta piss And make it make sense, or try to A lot of prophets telling lies, I guess they did that in the Bible You mumble in your speech, boy, you sound just like a child Press play up on that shit and just the intro gets me fired up I feel like killing everybody on that playlist People say Alright guys, four sets, handstand push-ups done We're ending the routine today with muscle-ups Like I said, muscle-ups are gonna tap in to our pulling muscles, meaning our back. It's gonna target our shoulders and chest. Full upper body exercise. And remember, I'm trying to keep them as strict and clean as possible. Minimize the kip, let's get it. And last time we only did one set of three. Today we're gonna go for two or maybe three sets of three reps of the muscle ups to end the routine. Let's go. Alright guys, that's a wrap for the full body workout. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, if you guys have the means to split up your workout throughout the whole day, it's a way more effective way to manage overall volume and fatigue. Like I said, I started this routine off this morning at 8.30 in the morning in the crib. Started with legs and chest, so I barbell squatted, stiff leg dumbbell deadlift like you guys are going to see in the clips, benched and did weighted dips all, all early in the morning. Had five hours break between that workout and this workout, was able to refuel up. I came back into the remaining of the workout, shoulders and back, fresh. I was able to hit every set, pretty much I didn't fail on any rep ranges on any exercise. Everything worked out just how I wanted it to. So if you guys have the means, split the volume up throughout the day, you're going to be able to produce way more effective sets. And like always guys, full body training is going to be a best bang for your buck if you're limited on time, right? It's going to ensure that you're hitting every muscle group two to three times a week keeping that muscle protein synthesis high and allowing sufficient recovery in between each workout as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this routine. Don't forget, like the video, it helps the algorithm out. Share it with your friends, your family. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And if you have a question or comment, leave it in the comment section. I always get back to you. Peace out. Bar Naturals. And they all love to talk, you know they do that shit the most. Think you on my level, boy, but you ain't even close.